Hi, team. It's Sean. Today, we're going to look at something that confused the heck out of me when I learned it, uh, polynomial long division. Um, and before we even jump into it, uh, I want to talk about regular long division, which ironically, I re recall being a physics major in college and realizing I completely forgot how to do regular long division because I hadn't done it since the fourth grade. So in case you forgot too, I'm going to do a quick regular long division problem just so you can have it fresh in your mind because it's the same process for how we do polynomial long division, which you're probably doing in pre-calc right about now. So let's just do a random long division problem. So I'll just make something up and go three divided by uh, five, seven, six. So what we do is we divide the three into the first term, the five, three goes into five one time. One times three is three. So we put that right here. We draw a line underneath, we subtract. Five minus three is two. Then we bring down the next term or number, which in this case is a seven, to get 27. And then we start the process over. Three divides into 27 nine times. Three times nine is 27. Put that here. Subtract. Get zero. That's nice. Bring down the six. Three goes into six evenly. Two times 192 is the answer. Okay, so that's regular long division. Let's look at something that's kind of scary looking polynomial long division, which is going to look something like this. Okay, so just like regular long division, we're gonna start dividing here, but what's a little different is, we, we, this is confusing because it's X minus one, how the heck do you divide that? Well, we're gonna ignore the minus one and we're just gonna use the leading X term and we're gonna divide that into this first term here, four X cubed. So how, how many times does X go into four X cubed? Another way of saying that is what is four X cubed divided by X? I'll just write that off to the side so you can see. Well, that's actually not that bad, right? Because the x's just cancel. So you get 4x squared. So x goes into 4x cubed 4x squared times. In other words, 4x cubed divided by x is 4x squared. Now, just like regular long division, we're going to do this times this whole thing this time. Now we're going to do the whole thing, so we're going to have to distribute it. Um, so we get 4x squared times x is 4x cubed. If you do it right, these two terms will always be the same. And then we have to do 4x squared times negative 1 to get negative 4x squared. Just like regular long division, we're going to draw a line and subtract. Now, however, I like to put parentheses right here. The most common mistake I see with polynomial long division is not realizing that this minus sign right here has got to distribute to both of these guys. So I like to put parentheses in. Okay, so... The first term, we have 4x cubed minus 4x cubed to get 0. That's always going to happen if you do it right. Now, here we have negative 2x squared minus minus is plus 4x squared, right, to get 2x squared. And then just like long division, we pull down the next term, which in this case is an x, say plus x. And this is the point where the process starts over. So... The, the, the thing that's a little different than long division is at, the, at this first dividing step, we just look at the leading terms. So in this case, we're going to divide x into 2x squared. Another way of saying that is 2x squared divided by x. In case you can't tell what that is, I'll just do it off to the side. It's really not that bad, right? Okay, so x goes into 2x squared, positive 2x times, okay? Now we're ready to multiply again. So we're gonna multiply this times all of this, not remembering to distribute. So two x times x is two x squared. We know we're on the right track because these, these two will always be the same. And then two x times negative one is negative two x. And just like before, we're gonna draw a line underneath. Subtract, again, using parentheses so you don't make the most common mistake, which is realizing that this minus sign has to hit both of these guys, okay? So you'll know you're doing it right if these guys cancel out. And then we have x minus minus 2x, which is x plus 2x, which is 3x. Okay. And then we bring the next term down. And we start the process over again, looking at the leading terms. x goes into 3x three times. And we multiply 3 times x minus 1 to get 3x minus 3. 
And you can see that this is a perfect factor. X minus one divides perfectly into this polynomial because in this case, we get no remainder, okay? So the answer is this guy, 4x squared plus 2x plus 3. I hope this helps. I'm going to make another video like this shortly on a little more complicated case. All right, have a great day.